Bulls fans, Adam Harry back again with a quick Bulls, uh, I guess, review today. We're actually looking at some new paints. These are called Turbo Dork paints. Uh, they have a lot of really fun names. Uh, they are a pearlescent uh, metallic paint. Uh, as you can see here, we actually have the full set of 16 paints. We've applied them to different Space Marine heads. Um, now, I've I've applied them to a white undercoat for for because it's actually what we had on hand here at the studio. I didn't didn't bring any black primer today, but it actually works best. It's recommended with black primer. So uh, these will look a, a little bit brighter than what, what I think you uh, would expect normally. But these are pearlescent paints, and what I mean by that is they have a reflective kind of coat to, to them. They are a, a glossy paint. You can see they're uh, very metallic looking. And uh, I want to read off some of these names, though, because I think, I think that's actually really fun. Up in the top, we have... Uh, uh, <laughs> da ba da, <laughs> da ba di, as in I'm blue, yeah, because that's that one. Uh, then we have after that one we have dark net, which is this one right here, this kind of copperish color. Um, again, the the paint is supposed to look more like this. Uh, you do need to shake these pretty uh, vigorously and they actually have a bead inside to help break up the paint, which I actually really like. They do also come in droppers, which I also really appreciate. Uh, then we have 3D glasses, that's up next, that's this one. And uh, after that we have uh, Shell Shocked, which is cool metallic purple um, look to it. Now again, it, it looks better on the black, I realized that after we've painted these guys. And you probably wanna put, two, put at least two coats of paint. Um, then after that we have Afterburner, which I think is a fantastic uh, copper look would look awesome for uh, any kind of exhaust or anything that's exposed to high heat. And then finally in the top row here we have radium, which is another kind of uh, uh, gold color with a kind of a green uh, metallic undertone there too. So again, that's the top row. Uh, more fun name paints. Here we go. The, the middle row, this one is called uh, the ground, <laughs> ground is lava. This is kind of a, a red uh, color there. Then we have electrum which is a nice bright yellow metal. Uh, then we have an actually really fun color, blue raspberry. And I think, again, this color would turn out a lot better on black. Uh, that's this one right here. Again, that's my bad. Uh, after that, we have uh, people eater, <laughs> as in purple people eater right there. Uh, and then finally, that middle row. We have a color I actually really liked uh, once I put it on the model here was seafood, uh, as you can see there. Now, again, uh, we try to use the same type of bit so that's what what's up with all these space marine heads that's what we used all those uh, again just what we had laying around the studio the bottom row we have ill-gotten gold which is kind of this nice dark gold color you can kind of see there uh, again shake your paint super well and then we have another fun color this one's called purple it's like purple but murkier uh, <laughs> then we have this this third blue here on the bottom row cool ranch uh, pretty cool looking and then this is a color. I wish I had known about if you are a Grey Knight player You're definitely gonna want to check this one out blue steel that color right there on the bottom right there And then finally we have spicy meatball Probably one of the funnest colors um, As you can see so I'm gonna zoom in real fast again I try to get pretty good coverage on the on the on the bit uh, you probably in some of these cases like a uh, uh, afterburner or um, chromium, you're probably going to want to do at least these two right here. Probably want to do a couple of coats. I tried to thin down the paint a little bit with water uh, just as I was applying it so it didn't go on too thick. Uh, these are metal, uh, uh, metallics, I should say, metallic paints. So you got to be careful with, with uh, washes and stuff like or not washes, with the application because uh, the pigment uh, in the medium can, can clump up a little bit. So you see a little bit of that in some of the gaps here. So that's why you want to make sure that you thin your paints and kind of go a couple of layers at a time. Uh, or sorry, layer, let it dry, layer, let it dry, etc. A couple of layers are going to do your, do your right. Um, I did paint the backs, so we'll flip these over real quick. So you can kind of see those as well. You can see what I'm talking about. There are a couple of different uh, spots where the paint tended to clump up a little bit. I think this stuff would go great through an airbrush. Uh, and again, using a black undercoat primer. My bad, yet again. But it turned out pretty well in some of these colors. I actually think some of the uh, darker colors do well with a white primer on the back. So, um, but yeah, I really like the, the colors. Uh, it's kind of a playful uh, with, the, with the, the names of the colors. So that's pretty cool. But they go on pretty smooth. Um, Application-wise, they go on pretty smooth. 
Um, and yeah, pretty cool stuff. Again, these are from Turbo Dork. You can find these online at turbodork.com. Uh, and uh, yeah, go check them out online. Tell them we sent you. I'm Adam Harry from Bulls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.